absolute value. Yes, yes, yes. So when you have a fraction, again, you're kind of thinking through the steps here. The first thing you, you can think, usually, um, unless you think ln or something floating around, is maybe u is the denominator. Always try that first. And if u is the denominator here, thinking ahead a few moves, I can see that's going to work because if u is 1 plus e to the x, then du is e to the x dx, which is what we have sitting on top in the numerator. So this becomes the integral. e to the x dx is eaten up by the du, and we're left with 1 over u. Yes, sir? Can you just make u to the x instead of Yeah, but so you could let u be e to the x, but then in your integral over here, you get 1 plus u. So anytime you want to let something be u, if it's attached by addition to a constant, just throw the constant in there with it, because when you drive it, it just goes away. And that way, the sub is a little bit easier. Cool? So now we have 1 over u, and the integral of 1 over u is the natural log of the absolute value of u, which was this. And again, multiple choice-wise, you wouldn't see the absolute values here, because 1 plus e to the x is always positive. So if you put parentheses there, that's not a big deal, but just get used to putting absolute value there the whole time.